Hello fellow crafters, I'm Cheryl with I'm Sheer DIY. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back and thank you for your support. So today I will be doing a method, a charring method that I was inspired to do a few years ago that was originated with the Japanese culture. They used it to char their uh, wood, to preserve it, to weatherproof it, and it just turned out beautifully to me. So I was inspired to do it myself a few years ago with just small projects around the house. I will do it using this and this. And of course you can use your own um, type of torch that you have around your house. But this project is so unique and eye-catching. I really hope that you give it a try. And if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's get started, let's go. The wood that you'll need for this project is a one, one, one by six by eight. And you want to pay attention to the grain because the grain will matter based on what we'll do to this project at the very end. So you want it to have um, bold, very visible grain. And I think I did a pretty decent job with this. But anyway, um, these are 15 inch pieces and Home Depot cut it for me and I have one seven and a half inch to, that will serve as the base. Now Home Depot will not cut, there's a certain amount of inches that they will not go under and this is seven and a half so I had to cut this myself. So what we'll do is go ahead and get started with it. The pieces are cut, I have my wood glue, I have my brat nailer, which is what I'll use today to hold it together. And you want to pay attention to the grain. Get the better looking and most bold looking grain. Have that on the outside. Okay. And all of the grain should go in the same direction. So like this grain is going up this way. So you want all of the grain to go this way put it together. So you want to put you want to put the right side on top, the left side on the top left edge, and then the final piece on top. And you want to glue those pieces together, nail them together or screw them together, and then go back and place your bottom on there. So I'll get busy doing all those things right now. Sand it to make sure that the edges and all of this is flush together, and then we'll go to the next step. Now it's time for the torching. So I have my safety gear so that I don't inhale the fumes. I have my goggles, butane torch, and I always bring water to spray just to keep control of everything and my gloves. So I will gear up and then we'll get started. Seal it with acrylic sealer matte finish by Aline's Original. I'll spray the sealant on it. And I probably will spray a couple of coats on it. Okay, so I plan to stain the inside of this 
with some, let's see what this is. Jocko bean, Jocko bean, just on the, down the insides of it, just so that it won't be, the natural wood won't be revealed whenever you put something down in there to display. Okay, so now that I've stained it, it blends, everything blends together. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye-bye.